Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Asas Pixel Studio with another retouching tutorial in Photoshop. So I got a request from one of our followers and said I should edit a full image and not just the head portrait, the face portrait, uh, because I usually post that a lot. So I thought about, you know, doing a tutorial on that. And here is the tutorial. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of how you're going to edit your, you know, studio shots, your full image, and the pre and post retouching process and finishing step and touches. Okay, so just follow up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, can you share and let me know what you want me to do in the comment section. So for now, let's dive right into the tutorial. I'm going to duplicate this layer by hitting Ctrl J and right clicking and rasterizing the layer. And now we can affect the image. I'm going to turn the one below off and I'll grab the rectang rectangular mask curl tool. And let's first of all remove this one. So I'm going to grab it like this. I'm going to draw it very well and go to fill, go to edit, fill, and go to content aware and blending normal everything normal and click ok all right so we get that i'm going to grab this also and do the same here so somewhere here and hit shift f5 which is a shortcut and i'm going to hit ok and let's see what photoshop got for us and so this is what photoshop got so we have this one below and i'm also going to do that so let me take it up a little and bring it down shift f5 and hit ok and wait for photoshop to show what we can do what it can do so i'm just gonna leave it till it fills the layer i don't know why my system is slow but just find a way okay that's done and now for this one which is giving us giving me problem i'm just gonna do something like this grab this mask tool and just draw a line let me take it down a little bit and hit ctrl j to duplicate the line grab the move tool and i'm gonna move it up holding on straight up and to cover that place okay so i'm going to grab the brush tool which is a mixer to brush and also click on mesh the two layers together so i'm going to mesh the layer and i'm going to brush the two together like this to blend the background so something like this and there we go and also blend this background together and there we go so we're still gonna do some more blending and for now we need to remove some dirt so let's zoom in and we can see some dirt on the floor so to, to clearly see that I'm gonna create the curve and I'm gonna create an X curve like this take this up and take this down and just take it down till you see those yeah okay so something like this just an X curve to show us the depth so you can see a lot of depth below and we're going to start removing that right away so i'm going to quickly you know grab the um patch tool i like using the patch tool a lot and just draw a circle and you move it to a cleaner side and it's going to solve the solve that so select the picture take it around move it and that's gone so you can do a lot of you know adjust a lot of dirt so i'm just gonna quickly you know fix some dirt and we're gonna go on with the edit so although we still have some dirt but uh, we're gonna fix that right away so i'm gonna click on this and grab the mask the mask call tool again and just drag like this to where the shadow ends and drag it down i'm gonna hit shift f5 to fill and i'm gonna hit ok and let's see what photoshop can do with that too okay so we have it like this and now we need uh, a blend with this one so i'm going to turn this off and we have this white layer so let's grab the um u curve layer another curve layer i'm going to get rid of this one delete and let's close this select this layer and then go to select few sorry um color range and then I'm going to select this one now. Turn on localized cluster because it's if you if you don't, it's going to select all the image. It's going to you know select all the colors in the background. But if you turn that on, it's going to select just where you want those colors to be. So something like this. And I'm going to hit OK. And that selection. I'm going to click on this and click Shift F5 and fill with. Let's fill it with black and it's OK. So now invert, Control I to invert the selection, Control Z, sorry, 
let's control d to deselect and control i to invert the selection and i'm going to bring it up yeah let's invert it control i make okay so i'm going to increase let's increase okay it's affecting the background instead so control i to invert and now we can see the difference on the background so but what i want to do i want to remove it from the rest part so just grab the brush tool and make sure the foreground color is black and you can you know erase it from where you don't need it to so somewhere like that yeah and we can definitely decrease the opacity let's decrease the opacity a little bit uh like that see we have this and then i'm going to double click to remove it from the brightest side open up the blending option and remove it from the brightest side so let's see on the lane layer so you can see what's going on i'm just going to hold and hold separate and bring it forward and bring it backward like this and it's okay so it's not affecting that much all right so now let's create a stem visible layer control shift to turn it e and now we're going to do some frequency separation but before that let's see how we can make the skin tones uniform okay so using the normal UN saturation i'm going to take this end to and i'm going to pick the skin and then i'm going to increase and you can see the color variation in the skin so i'm going to focus more on the blue side by taking the slider forward okay so i'm going to stop somewhere yeah somewhere yeah let's look at the face and okay so we have got the 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 places that are having skin variation so make this zero and then i'm going to increase to we have uniform skin color okay let's zoom out and see so i like let me say 33 should be fine and i'm going to close the bar the yeah even saturation and i'm going to grab the brush tool and painting with black i'm going to remove it from the clothes all right so i've removed it from the clothes so we have before and after so we need to also remove it from the lips sorry the image is blur so i'm going to remove it from the lips and there we go and now what we need to do is to do some frequency separation i'm going to join these two together so let's match the layers and you know do the frequency separation so i'm done with the frequency separation so i just did something quick on the skin so you can see the before let me zoom in a little bit you can see how rough the skin is and then after so you need to maintain the integrity of the image and not just make the image look plastic so this is okay and now it's time to work on the background so before i do that i'm going to grab the curve again and i'm going to do that same thing i did the first time take this up and take this down so i can see the places that are looking so bad all right so now we have this place so i'm going to grab the texture and the color i'm going to use those two so let's start with the color and start blending the colors together like this to you can grab the texture first and then start sampling some areas like here out and you can start you know blending the edges you can see how it's you know disappearing so just like that and start blending okay so i'm going to grab this one and that's how you're going to blend everything and then sometimes you use just yeah so something like this till we get the right you know all right so i'll grab the texture grab this and start you know just you know removing some spots and just to make the image clean so when you want to print it it's not going to show all those dead around so it's better you do this just quickly and fast as possible all right so we can turn the curve layer and this is what we have okay so i'm going to delete this and create a stand visible layer control shift to it e and then go to filter camera or filter and the camera or filter i'm going to start with the highlight and you know we can bring down the white a bit to avoid it being blown out like you know blown out so i'm going to decrease the highlight as well and let's bring up the blacks and bring up the shadows 
and also the texture i'm going to bring it up crank it up a little and i'm going to close that open up the curve and let's you know increase the this and bring down the black create more you know depth to minus two bring down the blacks minus two okay so i'm going to close that and then i'm going to go to the color mixer and let's start with the u on the red take this backward a bit like that increase the saturation okay so go ahead increase the saturation of the orange and this not too much just a bit so 14 should be fine same with this and go to the u so if you want to make the yellow looks more look more like the orange i'm going to take it back and you want to make it look more like the red so just i'll make it look like the yellows but i i feel this this is just good plus six and next place i'm going to go is the calibration and you can just increase the red primary and you know take that back the blues and mess around with the green let's find a sweet spot for it i think this this should look okay so let's see before and after for that okay so i'm going to check on before and then after okay so i'm going to hit okay on the keyboard and we have our image so one more thing we can do we can grab the exposure and you know just increase the gamma a little bit just 92 and then you can have some vibrance to it so this is the image and you can blow this a bit so how do you blow that just grab the brush mixer brush tool you know just do it sorry on the layer and you know just blow it a bit blow it out and there we go all right so let's you know join the two together merge layers and i'm going to group from here to here together and turn it off and let's see so these are before and then this is our after uh, before i'm going to zoom in and then this is our after so thank you guys for watching this uh the step you use in addicting photos like this and one bonus tip is to you know make sure our uh, hips and waist come aside so we can use the liquify tool you know and you have to gain mastery of the liquify tool before you can do that so let's open up the liquify and i'm going to grab this forward wrap tool make this smaller and i'm just going to push this in and push this in like that and push this space out and push this just do it a little little by little otherwise you're going to miss it out okay so something like that and make sure it matches a lapse okay so something like this i'm gonna make it smaller over here and just push a waist inside a bit and make this place also you can see that now all right so this is what i got after the liquefy too and you can make it look so real so before and then the after before and then the after okay so i'm gonna hit okay on the keyboard and we have this all right so thank you guys for watching so we have from this to this see you in the next video